Hello students, in this video we are going to study work energy principle which is the second chapter of unit 6 that is kinetics of particles. Work energy principle is the application of Newton's second law of motion. So let us first revise some of the basic concepts which you already know like work. What is work? When the work is said to be done, suppose if a force is acting on the body and the body is having displacement because of that force, then the work is said to be done by the force on the body. And this work done is calculated by taking the product of force and the displacement in the direction of the force. So this work done is represented by the letter capital U which is equal to force into displacement. Suppose if the force is variable, if the force is changing, it is varying with respect to the displacement, then the work done is integration of F dS. So it is force into displacement. So what is the SI unit? Newton meter, also known as Joule. Newton meter. What is the unit of moment of force? Moment of force is the force into perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the point. Again, the moment of force is having unit Newton meter. So the unit of work done is also Newton meter. So what is the difference? The moment of force is a vector quantity and this work done is a scalar quantity. The moment of force will take the product of force and distance as a cross product whereas here the force and displacement will take it as a dot product right so energy energy is nothing but the capacity to do the work the unit of energy and the unit of work done both are same so energy is also measured in joules there are different types of energies like say light energy, sound energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, mechanical energy and so on. But in engineering mechanics, we will consider only the mechanical energy. We are interested in the mechanical energy. What is mechanical energy? Mechanical energy is the energy possessed by the body. when the body is having ability to do the work because of its position or motion, right? So there are two types of mechanical energy. Potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy possessed by the body due to its position, due to its elevation. Whereas kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the body due to its motion or due to its velocity, right? So there are two types of potential energy. Gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. What is gravitational potential energy? So it is the energy possessed by the body it is the energy possessed by the body because of its elevation. See, the work done in lifting the body or lowering the body is stored in the form of energy known as gravitational potential energy. Whereas, the elastic potential energy, so it is the work done in deforming the spring, say, stretching the spring or compressing the spring. So whatever the work you are doing in deforming the spring, that work is stored in the spring in the form of an energy known as elastic potential energy. So this gravitational potential energy is given by mgh. mg is the weight of the body, that is the gravitational force. And elastic potential energy is given by k by 2 into x square where K is the stiffness of the spring and X is the deformation, deformation of the spring. 
whereas the kinetic energy it is the energy possessed by the body due to its motion due to its velocity it is given by half m v square so m is the mass of the body and v is the velocity of the body right now we will see what is work energy principle as per newton's second law of motion what is newton's second law of motion the rate of change of momentum is equal to force resultant force or unbalanced force so d by dt of mv rate of change of momentum mass into velocity is the momentum is equal to force this force is remember the resultant or unbalanced force in the system so it is m into dv by dt is equal to f m into dv by dt multiplying and dividing with ds is equal to f now what is ds by dt ds by dt is the velocity so it is m v dv by ds dv by ds is equal to f so it is m v dv is equal to f into ds integrating when s is equal to 0 say its velocity is initial when s is 0 it is starting initial velocity when s is equal to s its velocity is final that is v we will represent initial velocity as u final velocity as v so integrating we have m into v square by 2 between the limits u to v is equal to f into s between the limits 0 to s so putting the limits you will get m v square by 2 minus m u square by 2 is equal to f into s minus 0 so it can be written as half m v square minus half m u square is equal to f into s so what is half m v square kinetic energy so v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity so it is final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy that is nothing but change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy is equal to force into displacement work done known as work energy principle so change in kinetic energy is equal to work done symbolically it can be represented as say ke2 minus ke1 is equal to the work done between 1 and 2 1 and 2 are the positions so ke1 kinetic energy in the first position or initial position ke2 kinetic energy in the second position or final position is equal to the work done between the position 1 and 2 between the initial and final position so it is the total work done work done by all the forces acting in the system known as work energy principle Understood? So, change in kinetic energy is equal to work done. Now, let us see what is force displacement diagram. So, if you draw a graph by taking the force on y-axis and the displacement of the body on x-axis. So you will get a curve. So the force is the function of displacement. So it is force displacement diagram. 
if you find out the area under curve of force displacement diagram say from s1 to s2 so if you find out the area under curve from s1 to s2 so area is equal to integration f ds right between the limits s1 to s2 so what is this integration of f ds nothing but the work done between s1 to s2 so the area of force displacement diagram it gives you the work done understood so in the next video we will see some more concepts related to the work energy principle thank you